Hi, it's Friday. I think it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday morning. And I've got a brief moment to say hello to everybody. Uh, and I decided to say hello in video format. Um, I'm just speaking to you today from Zoom. Um, I'm using Zoom totally for my students and finding it quite successful. Um, my students have a range of devices, whether they do it with a laptop, um, a, uh, a phone or, an, or a tablet, an iPad. Um, uh, it can work with a, a webcam on a, on a PC. That's been quite successful as well, as long as the camera, the, ca the device with the camera needs to be really close, fairly close to the piano because you need to be able to see the, the, the student and their hands and the keyboard. And you also need to be able to hear them and they need to be able to hear you as well. So that's really important. Um, what else? Uh, probably as far as internet stability goes, my one of my greatest learning experiences has been that the my laptop must be connected by a, via a cable to my modem to my router. Um, that has significantly improved the stability of my internet connection. I actually had to get a connector to be able to connect the the cable to the laptop, and that took time. But now it's connected up. Uh, it's it's out of the park better as far as internet stability goes. Um, now so much so that at the moment, I'd have to say that ninety five percent of the problems that that we encounter in, in lessons now in the last week has been on the student side. So if the student is using um, a device that is only one of, the de of many devices in the house that is sharing the same internet connection at the, at the same time, um, that's a huge issue. Um, when that happens, it means that everybody else's device is competing uh, for the one internet connection. And so we'll have big, well, there'll be problems connecting, there'll be have big lags in sound, there'll be big lags, lags in video. And in some state, some places we've had to abandon the lesson because it's been impossible. Um, that's a really horrible situation to be in um, because we have to reschedule um, and that's a pain in the neck too. Um, so that's probably my one big piece of advice is that on both sides of this equation, me, on my side, the only, my, my laptop that is using the Zoom is the only thing that is using my, the Wi-Fi connection. Um, my phone and my iPad are both using another internet source. So that might be my remote Wi-Fi dongle um, that I have um, that they they will connect to or I'll be I'll use the 4G on my mobile phone um, I'll turn on the 4G, 4G and then I'll hotspot my phone to my iPad because I'm using my iPad a lot I'm using my iPad for the purposes of looking at the scores primarily I've got for each student I've got photos um, or PDFs of the scores um, in their individual drop um, in, in their individual Google Drive folder and so I'll open that up on my iPad so that I can actually see the score when we're teaching um, that's really helpful um, but like I said the phone and the iPad are using another internet source not the same source as the device that is actually filming the zoom the, the zoom meeting um, so that's really important at home as well. I'm trying, trying, trying to say, say to my students and their parents, it's really important that for that half an hour or that 45 minute period when there is a lesson on, disconnect or it, like turn all the other internet connections off. Get the other kids off the game or the Netflix or the Xbox or anything else like that. If, if somebody else is YouTubing, uh, if somebody else is Facebooking, Facebooking uses a lot of bandwidth. So any of that kind of thing that's happening with other people in the house, um, that needs to be taken away, removed from the equation. Otherwise, that 
that spot that you're paying me, that 30 to 40 or 45 minutes or an hour lesson that you're paying me for is being ruined, basically, um, because because of the interference. We're having problems because there are lags, there are dropouts, I can't hear, the student can't hear, we have, um, there are dropouts in the videos, so they're on this stuff. Um, you're not getting the best um, value for your money as a student or a parent if you are allowing other devices in the home to interfere with that, that lesson time. So that's probably my number one tip. Um, for meetings, um, uh, Zoom lessons is isolate, isolate your, your internet Wi-Fi. Um, and if possible, get a ca cable connection if you're using a laptop. If you're using an iPad or a phone, well, you can't do that, but you just use what you can and you do what you can. Um, but yeah, that's, yeah, so that's my handy tip for today. I'll continue to make some handy tips here and there when I get a tick. Um, have a beautiful day and be safe. That's, that's the big thing. Be safe and be kind. Take care.